Selma Mark VI from 1966, 137 serial number and yes I am playing a Selma Mark VI tenor as my main tenor now. Uh, all you people out there who know me will go why are you playing that thing? I thought you hated them. No, I don't hate Mark VI's. I just think that they're very overrated compared to some other horns which are out now which are much better technically, much better physical under the feel, and have a better all-round playability. But, that said, this is a fantastic Mark VI in its own right. It's the best one I've ever owned, and it's certainly the best one I've played as well, as I've played probably at least a hundred. Now this one is wonderful. It rings like a bell as you can hear it. If you've got decent headphones on, you'll hear it when I close the keys. Sorry about my uh, mid-rift here in the picture. It's a saxophone you want to see, I guess. And that is a very good sound. I changed out the pads in the left hand and some of the side keys. The rest of them were fine, but on the left hand particularly, they were starting to bloat out and swell up a bit. So I changed them out, put some brand new in with the plastic resonators, and now it's tight and snappy. So let's have another little noodle again. got that what I call a metallic buzz in the frequency of the tone. You can hear it particularly on Mark VI's and that's what drew me to this tenor. It has that buzz, you know, like the likes of all the brighter players who are like the Bob Bergs, the Breckers, the Ernie Watts, the George Youngs, all these sort of players have that metallic sort of buzz in the frequency of their tone when they play it. And now I've got it on this one, and I love that sort of edgy sound. Have a listen again. fantastic tennis saxophone in its own right. I don't care what brand it is. 
I like it. It's a beast and it's mine. Anyway, have a good day. Just showing you my change of heart on Mark 6s. Well, only this one. The other ones I don't care about. This is a great Mark 6. Have a great day.